Hi guys, it's me Spastic and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a basic giveaway bot. So let's start. We need to import three things. The first is date time, async queue and random. Let's now make the command. So the command is very simple. Rate client dot command. We don't need an alias. And async def g start. So this is a giveaway start. And we'll be doing it all in the same line instead of an interactive one so this is since this is a very basic one we'll be doing it like that and if you want a part two of this hit the like button when this video hits 50 likes i'll make the next part so giveaway start ctx minutes so this could be a string uh, integer and the price of this will be a string so since again this is the basic one we're simply just taking the time in minutes in the next part i'll be showing you guys how to do it in like a thing where you can enter 5s for seconds or 5h for hours but since this is a very basic one again i'm gonna be only using this minutes you could do it with hours as well minutes is fine and we also want to check for a role that is command commands dot has underscore role so only someone with the giveaway giveaways role will be able to actually host the giveaways but since i don't have a giveaways role in my server i'm gonna make the owner only be able to post giveaways so let's make an embed so embed is discord or embed and this could be the title could be giveaway and you could add emojis as well so the description can be the price actually and the color can be anything you want I'm gonna have it display the authors color CDX dot author dot color and let's add some embeds now there are two things you could do the first one is if you want it to be like this so we can have an end time so this will be date time dot date time dot UTC now and plus date time dot time delta and seconds will be the minute times the seconds which would be 60 so you could do it something like this and then add this directly into the embed so I'm gonna actually add it so you can see add field name is name is ends at and the value can be the time and UTC okay so this will be one thing that you can add you could also add embed you could directly say that it ends you can maybe set footer instead set footer and have the text being ends So 10 minutes ends 10 minutes from now. All right, so then we can send the embed. So the way we do this is simply, actually we need to store the um, message. So my message is discord, uh, not discord, ctx await, ctx.send the embed. And after this is done, we can say let's wait actually we need to add the reaction right so await my message not add reaction and inside of this we need the reaction so i'm just going to copy one reaction i'll be right back so one tip for emojis is let's say you have an emoji right and actually i think i can just copy this if i copy the emoji and if i bring it back here okay it did not work if i did something like a backslash and then the emoji 
it actually gives you the emoji in Unicode so you can paste this or if it is actually an emoji that's not in Unicode you can get something like if I had this emoji this peep sad emoji and if I did something like this you can get the ID and the format so you can directly copy this and add the reaction instead of this you could have it like this but instead I'm gonna have this reaction and then we will actually wait so await asyncio.sleep for the minutes time 60 so this isn't the best way of doing it and actually this isn't the way you should be doing it at all but since this is a basic video i'm gonna be showing you guys the main reaction thingy how to get reactions how to choose a winner so we'll be just doing it for now but you should be doing with doing it with tasks okay so after we have waited for that much time we can then say let's get the message again so new message is the await ctx.channel dot fetch message the id is my message dot id okay so why did i just get this message again well what happens is if i try to get the reactions from this message it'll actually not show any reactions why because it stores this old one right after like many reactions have been added it will not really know that so we need to get this again so it will update the cache and then we can go to the users so the users that reacted will be new message dot reactions dot react and actually reactions the first one so which will be this reaction dot users which is a function dot flatten so this will give us a list of users who reacted now we do we do want to remove the bot itself so users dot pop user dot index of client dot user so we will remove the bot itself otherwise it'll be unfair why should the bot win itself we could also remove the author who made the giveaway if you wanted but i'm gonna leave it for now because I, te I test my code myself so then we can get a winner winner will be random dot choice from these users and finally we can say await ctx dot send ctx dot send um, congratulations um, we should have an f string and we should mention the winner winner dot mention one and this should be the prize that's it so let's save the command and let's test it before i actually test it i'll remove this part why because um i don't want to wait for like five minutes so actually it says minutes but it should be seconds means I'll be only waiting only sleeping for five seconds so it'll be a little bit faster but you can just leave it at minutes time 60 or if you have hours it should be hours time 60 times 60 okay so I will remove this and I'll save and run it again also we need to actually await this this is this needs to be awaited let's save that and let's run it again all right let's check g start let's have a 10 seconds giveaway for nothing and as you can see we get a giveaway the price is nothing ends at the udc time this actually didn't work i forgot to add an f let's do that later and let's wait for 10 seconds as you can see i won congratulations i won nothing so that's it and in the next video we'll be making a better version of this so make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and I'll actually also add this F before this in the footer. Okay, so I'll meet you in the next one. Goodbye.